Alright boys and girls, so we are back again with another video and this time with another voiceover video I realised that I completely didn't post anything or any of my footage from combined training at Westwilts pre-lockdown um, It was the week after Swalcliff on the Tuesday I want to say? Thursday, Thursday um, So yeah, I just completely realised I hadn't even posted anything about it, I hadn't posted the footage and I had another video filmed that I was going to post yesterday but guess you can't find the footage and may or may not have accidentally deleted it mm, me so unfortunately I'm gonna have to refilm that but that is fine um <clears throat> apologies for not having this video up or a video up on Sunday I have something else that I'm working on that's gonna be I think quite interesting for you guys that is sort of going on in the background so I have not had much time uh we've also been super busy at work just doing like everyone else is in isolation all those jobs that we haven't been wanting to do but need to be done now so it's just been super busy I hope you guys enjoy it I hope uh you're all keeping well in this isolation station and um I will try and post some more stuff and I will keep you guys up to date my Instagram, I'm probably the most active on there, so if you want to check it, I'll put it here. <laughs> and so yeah, have a look on that. Uh, I'll keep trying to produce content for you guys. Uh, enjoy this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And ring the little bell so that you know when I post, because it's not necessarily regular. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're all keeping well. But let's get started. All right, guys. So it's dressage time. Um, so like I've said already, this was the test that we did at Swalcliffe. So it was really nice to get to do it again. Lovely bit of drift down the centre line before we turn left. End now. So really proud of that turn. That I did it more like a 90 degree like pick the shoulders up again the same here so you can see she's super tense she went really spooky when we came in the arena she gradually settles through the test but at the start she literally is like a board but we're going to move on from that um so this is a serpentine i did my first loop a bit too small like too look close to the short side i need to go a bit further down the long side but overall not far off um She's starting to soften a bit more now and um, relax into the rhythm. And then transition was a bit tense, but actually okay. Sort of three from behind. Um, and this was better. So basically you had to turn to X at either B or E, I can't remember which one. And then you're 20 meter circle from X. So I really made a point of showing the curve in these corners on the circle and then showing the straightness and keeping the straightness through the neck and the body on this turn so you can see that the body came around as a whole uh, so I was really happy with that um, and then the down transition is a little bit tight but not terrible the walk one was good she stayed coming through from behind a little bit tight but good um, nice walk she's kind of not quite looking for the contact you'd want to see her looking down a bit more for it especially in the second half she starts off quite well and then she tends to get a bit bored. That's fine. Um, trying to look at the thing that she was spooking at initially. But relaxing into the walk quite well. And then, yeah, picks up nicely in the transition there. And then just trying to get her to prepare a bit better for this transition. But she was spooking, so not super ideal. Um, I think we got, they said that our canter was jolly on this bit. Um, on the mark scheme, but it's not bad. Um, again, trying to show that differentiation between the bend that I have across the circle and then the straightness that I have when I'm coming towards my turn. I'm really, really happy with how that went, and I think that it was reflected well in the marks, so I'm happy with that. Uh, transition slightly fell down into it, but that's something that I've worked on a lot since doing this test, and now that I've got lots of time training at home, We've been working loads on getting her to steady the canter and sit on her hocks before coming down into the transition rather than falling on the forehand in it. And it is improving a lot. 
Uh, Serpentine again, I think my first loop was a bit too small, but it's good. The trot's getting more relaxed and she's settling better into the contact, so I'm really happy with that. Um, and then I think we've got a half 10 meter circle here at E, so just preparing into the outside rain uh, to keep her coming around the corner. Slightly overshot, but not terrible. Uh, they've got a nice little bit of drift again, but good holds. So, um, yeah, and so then here we have the show jumping. I'll do a little review of the dressage at the end. Don't worry. So we jumped clear here in the dressage, but it was a little bit embarrassing. We had a run out at the fourth fence, but you can see already I just don't really have enough canter. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not really enough. It starts off kind of okay coming here, but could have definitely it definitely needs to be more forward. Um, uh, so I kept it quite forward here. And then sapped too much to this, and she was like, nope. To be honest, it was cheeky from her, um, and frustrating, but it was my fault for not having enough canto initially. And because I didn't have <coughs> enough canto, I added a stride in that distance, and that made it... would I would have ended up on deep spot. Um, so it was frustrating, because... She could have jumped quite well. Um, again, I didn't have enough canter coming off that corner, so I got deep into the first element and had to push through the double. Um, this was okay, but again, like could have come off with a bigger canter and just fought, found a more forward shot to that. Um, this was nice. She's starting to relax and be a bit more forward now. Uh, the problem is we both just sort of get a bit trappy with the show jumping. We need to work a little bit more on the fluidity overshot that corner massively because I was trying to get it to relax and then forgot about my turn. This distance was good. I think we added a stride but it actually felt nice. Um, so I think we were done but then I just spent some time cantering around and just letting her relax and soften down. But you can just see how she's tight that she doesn't quite want to take the rain down and forward yet from the nose. So there you are guys, that was the combined training at West Wilts. So as you can see, it was a little bit frustrating. I'm really glad that I got to do that dressage test again. And I'm really happy with the improvements that I made. But it's nice now, after we've been training now for a couple of weeks, just at home solidly, that I can look back on that test and see ways that I can do it better again. So that's really nice. But overall, yeah, very happy with the dressage. And... The show jumping was a bit annoying, not gonna lie. Um, I just need to get it, it out of both of our heads, to be honest. Just having that more can that bit more canter and keeping her travelling and not me letting her get trappy because I'm scared that I'll find a bad shot off the corner. But again, another thing that I really like is that I can look back on it and see ways that I can do do better, and that's the most important part is recognizing your mistakes and taking action on improving those so yeah it's nice to be able to look back um and good to be able to talk about it over the voiceover i hope you guys enjoyed a little pre-lockdown throwback and enjoyed watching the footage um i hope you enjoyed the voiceover thank you guys so much for watching give it a like again if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell so that you know when i post and yeah i think that's all from me so please stay safe check out my instagram facebook if you would like updates on what we're doing and i will see you guys in my next video thanks very much bye